Yes, but you know what I'm saying? So, I want to know, is you watching? You what? I want to know, is you watching the T.S. Masson experience? I need to know that. You should. Yes, yes, it is. It's stuff. It's you stuff that you need to learn. Like, yeah. Like. But this, we need to come. Hmm. You need, it's things that you need to learn as a man. Why we got to curl this wig on my head? That oh, was, we gonna, I was just doing it because you were just sitting there. Yeah, pull this thing off. Look, I want to be, I want to be in my natural braids. Like, I want to sure? be, I want to be a real ass bitch to give a fuck about a nigga. I want to be Carisha about the situation. Okay. Carisha, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> please. Please, Carisha. What you mean I need to have a man perspective on my show? I do got a man perspective on my show. Chi Chi on my show. He's a man. He's a man. Chi Chi's a man. He might be a homosexual, but he's a man. What that mean? You talking about alpha males? Why would I have to have that awful? That's an awful perspective to have an alpha male perspective about some stuff with trans people, especially homo thugs. I don't want to have no, I don't want to hear shit with no homo thug. Got to say about shit on the, no homo thug. You know them ones that you be in the gym with. Them homo thugs that you be in the gym with. Now where my, uh, oh, there you go. Yeah, well, uh, got it. Yeah. Them homo thugs you be in the gym with, honey. Oh, you be in there working out by yourself in the gym. All the time. Okay. God is good. He is. He is. He... Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh. No, you're good. I got you. Mm. I was gonna pay your good. So, do you meet men at the gym? Cause you know you a fine, you a fine older gentleman. Do you meet the men in the gym that you be thinking to be look? Oh, that be looking at you. I know, like you are, you are, you you a straight identified man. So. You know, it be men's looking at y'all straight men's in the gym. Have you ever felt like that you was approached in the gym by a man? I know you don't entertain it because you a straight man. So my thing is, have you ever felt that when you was in the gym that you was being, you know, stalked by a G A a G H E Y a gay? <laughs> You said yeah. Mm. So do you be in there with your gym pants on? Cause you know I know that did be jumping. I know that per I know that fat that fat chunky did be jumping and them balls be everywhere. Cause I know how you is in the gym and you, you know. I know that. No, I I know you be having on them sweatpants and that dick be just bouncing up and down and down. Why is you laughing? It's the truth. I know you, that's what you be doing. That's the reason why I want to go to the gym. I want to see the dick jump up and down in the sweatpants. What is you quiet for? I want to see the dicks jumping down, up and down in the sweatpants. <laughs> What? Child, you got this. Where you get this? Listen, where you get this tired phone from? You, I know you ain't get this phone from AT and T. Hello? Oh, you, oh, you definitely in that house with all that bad Wi Fi. Yeah, cause your phone is acting stupid. Oh yeah, you got T-Mobile. Mm mm. You still, you still, you still in business with them people. Well, well, listen. Don't call me from your whole phone. You still got? Do you, am I still on your whole phone number? Or are we always be friends. That I could, that you could call me from the regular phone. 
Oh, the regular phone? Okay, well, call me from your whole phone because maybe that whole phone got a better connection. But maybe the convert phone got a better connection than this than the, than the friend. Because I, you breaking up. I heard you. I told you I want to I wanna go to the gym and see the men jump up and down in their sweatpants. And I want to see the damn dick jumping up and You is over here worried about a two piece and a thigh, and I'm talking about some that dick jumping up and down in them sweatpants. Don't flight tonight, you'll see oh, Well, listen, put me on the flight tonight. I'm packed. All I'm bringing is my panties. <laughs> I'm packed. That's all I'm bringing is my panties. <laughs> oh, my panties are too. Listen, I can't fly that naked now. Listen, I can't fly over the neck, so I got to wear my. I got to wear. I'm wearing a turtleneck sweater and some panties. <laughs> a turtleneck sweater and some panties. Yeah. Now listen, I just got my hair braided up, so my hair braided. So that means I want. I'm gonna wear a loose wig because I really want the wig. I really want you to pull the wig off. <laughs> And so when the wig get pulled off, it could reveal, you know, all the thing, all of our dark secrets. <laughs> it could reveal all of our dark shadows, honey. Dark. It could reveal all of our dark shadows. She all right. She good. I love my mama. She and you, if you, when you watch the show, honey, when you watch the show, you'll see me and Miss Mary and that Karen on on the show. Yeah, that's my daddy on there. That's coming. Mm -hmm. I don't know what. If, I think that's on. The, the, I don't know if it's gonna be on tonight. I mean, the the episode. Uh, whatever. Yeah, I think it's gonna be. Man, fuck that nigga with that bullshit. <laughs> you know how I feel about niggas. You know how I feel about niggas. Shit, fuck that nigga with that bullshit. You know? I was telling my home, my friend that's over here doing my hair, I said, this the only nigga that I let call me Tim and pull my wig off at the same time. The only nigga. What you mean you highly doubt that? I'll fight any nigga about that Tim shit. Now I will put a I'll put a switchblade to your throat. <laughs> I'll put a switchblade to your motherfucking throat about that Tim shit. Don't play with me. You can only say that if the check clear. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. You don't want to talk to me no more. You got to go to work. You work at home. What you mean? You ain't got no job, nigga. You make all the money at the house. You going to rub me down the baby oil? I need to be listen. I want I want that dollar store baby oil though. I want the real cheap baby oil, so I could be so that when you hit me from the bed, I could be re, I can get real skinny real fast because that the oil gonna be so hot, <laughs> and it's gonna retain, it's gonna retain so much heat. <laughs> it's gonna be hot. It's gonna be a hot a hot what you call it dress, a hot uh I mean a. Uh, a hot baby oil situation. Hot oil. Hot Kimi oil. So go by the dollar store before I go to the airport. Go by the dollar because I can't fly with all that baby oil. You know I'm a big bitch, so I, all that damn dollar, all that damn baby oil gonna be. It's gonna be too much to be. They gonna be like, bitch, what you over here? What is you trying to go pump somebody with this baby oil? They gonna think I'm the pump doctor bringing all that baby oil on the plane. <laughs> Why are you doing me like that? Our friend don't leave me. I got, I got, I got interviews, man. Starting like, I got interviews. <laughs> oh. 
But send me some dirty pictures so I can masturbate. Okay, bye. <laughs> That's my homeboy. Mm -hmm. That's my homeboy that we be fucking. <laughs> he grown. <laughs> it's my homeboy. We be fucking. But I, we ain't fucked in so long. We ain't fucked in years. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. That's why he just said, some bitch, you got gray hair yet? I was like, yes. <laughs> He's like, bitch, you got gray hair? I sent him the trailer to my to my show. I sent him the on uh, the T.S. Madison experience. Um, <laughs> the way it say this season on the T.S. Madison experience, I sent him. No, I think we're a little bit more than fuck buddies. I sent him the um the trailer where it said this season on the T.S. Madison experience. Child, that bitch called me and said. Nigga, why you ain't motherfucking put me on there? Bitches put me on the motherfucking show, cussing your ass out. I was like, bitch, you think I'm finna let you come on this fucking show and and terrorize it, all the shit that we building up in the streets? You think I'm finna let you come on the motherfucking show terrorizing all the shit that I'm building up in the streets? Like, respect for the girls and all this stuff. I ain't, let me tell y'all some real, some real shit. It's a transsexual out there right now, just like me, that got a whole homeboy or a whole ass friend. You know what I'm saying? That's a straight dude that y'all they be they be fucking. And they be, you know what I'm saying, and they look out for her. It's the truth. That be it's that's the for real that's some for real shit. That, that, that she even that the bitch, that the trans bitch is real. She real cool they cool they down with each other you know what i'm saying he know that bitch government name she know his no that was not the cussing pastor on the phone baby that man that was on the phone is not the cussing pastor the cussing pastor my homeboy that was not the cussing pastor but that dog that man is my dog that's my motherfucking homeboy that's my dog i know that motherfucking nigga government he know my government nigga you know and at the end of the day you know we real comfortable with each other like comfortable as fuck like shit yeah we comfortable i told that nigga you know shit i got a husband i got a husband nigga you know what i'm saying that nigga done looked out for me coins wise you know so and i'm just like listen we done I, that month when we get in the bed, I pull that month. If I want to pull my wig off, I could do that. <laughs> that nigga buy me all kind of lingerie, lingerie boots. And so he say, bitch, you still wear size 11? <laughs> I said, no, bitch, I'm a 12 now, nigga. And that nigga buy me a size 12 boot. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's just, we just cool. Cheer. I think one thing about it is that I embrace myself like in complete, you know, totality. And at the end of the day, he say problematic shit. He say a lot of he say a lot of problematic ass fucking shit. That nigga got be calling me Tim. That nigga pull this pull that wig from the bag. Give me that pussy, Tim. I be like, boy, stop. <laughs> boy, stop. <laughs> But what I love about the whole situation is that, you know, shit, he comfortable with everything going on. And at the end of, at the end of the day, you know, yes, right, Maris. Listen, we know we it's a lot of shit that we say. I know, I know me. I know y'all know that I'm real banji. And I like a motherfucker to you know, like the banging is about me, bitch. Sometimes I don't want to have no fucking wig on when I'm get when I'm riding a nigga sucking a dick, bitch, or or I want or I'm or I'm wrapped up up on a nigga. And bitch, it might be times, bitch, that you know I may have a skin breakout or bitch, I may have a fucking pimple. I don't want to have. I don't want to do all that. You say not ten. I live for it though. I love it. I love it. I love it. I ain't even gonna front. Cause that motherfucker is that nigga is Benji, that nigga Benji, that nigga is ghetto within the motherfucker. He ghetto as fuck. 
He got a lot of money. He always had a whole bunch of money. But the nigga ghetto is in the mother for ghetto as fuck. And shit, we done hung out. We done went. We done hung out. Like, you know, we cool folk. He don't live here. Let me tell y'all some real shit. Um, I ain't gonna get deep into my business. But that's my homeboy. Right there. This shit. Chi Chi was over talking about something. Is that my daddy? No, that's not your daddy. <laughs> that's not your daddy. That's the nigga that could have been your daddy. But that's not your daddy. <laughs> no. But, you know. I remember we went, when we went to go see. I told him the other day we was talking. I said, nigga, you remember we went to go see, Cat we went to go see Cadillac Records when it first came out. And, um... What year Cadillac Records came out with Beyonce? Sure. That was 2008. Yeah, that was 2008. Cadillac Records came out. We went to go see that in Phillips Phil, 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 Plaza. We went to go see that. Um, <laughs> Y'all a mess. Let me call Chi Chi. Yes. Oh, he just sent me a picture. Oh, let me. Oh, I'm finna say, send me the dirty pictures. Send me the filthy, the dirty pictures. What's up, Detroit? Send me the dirty pictures. Send me the dick. Now, when we be fucking, now we be fucking and stuff now. When we, when, we, when we used to be fucking, we used to be fucking. That nigga hold me down and be like, bitch, I'm finna fuck you till you skinny. I said, well, bitch, you better start now. <laughs> you won't last, bitch, because when I was, bitch, I'm hungry after this. I'm only small right now because I done dushed before you got here, bitch. We had that kind of, them kind of conversations. We had them kind of conversations. I, the motherfucker be whole bitch. I'm finna fuck your ass till your ass is motherfucking skinny. I said, well, you better start fucking now. <laughs> motherfucker, cause your ass ain't gonna get yeah, you, bitch. And that's why I told him to pose that baby. I want you to get the dollar store baby oil and pull the dollar store baby oil all over my motherfucking ass. Because, bitch, we using that cheap oil. And then he say, I sent him the video of me um doing it, uh, Oh my show, he told my son. You heard that nigga tell my son why we can't have a straight man perspective. Nigga, I don't want to have no goddamn ghetto ass straight nigga perspective talking on my motherfucking show. Cause you, you know he still say some stupid ass shit now. Now that don't now listen. Now that don't mean because that's my homeboy or some shit that he don't say stupid ass shit. Cause he says dumb shit that I would be like, nigga, you is dumb. You say some of the dumbest shit that I ever fuck out fucking heard from a, a stupid ass motherfucker. Dumb. And then um he say uh I remember one time like I could tell I could talk about this because I ain't seen this man in a long time, like a long period of time, but we done communicated with each other for a long time, but I ain't seen him in a long time. I remember one time that he uh, uh <laughs> That being said. <laughs> he said, so Tim, you think that you a woman? I said, no, you do. You think I'm a motherfucking woman, nigga. You think that I'm a woman the way you try to power drive me from the back to the side and shit like that. And so, you know, we bust out and have those types of convers those types of conversation. And shit like that. But I know that along the way that I have educated him in the whole situation of, the, of what, what you call it. You know. And uh, I, he asked me. Uh, um, I remember one night that motherfucker went to the, to the damn. Um, what's the script club here? The Magic City. Magic City. He came in town and went to the fucking Magic City and called me from the Magic City and said, um, 
Oh, you want some chicken wings? And I come home over here. I say, uh, yeah, nigga, I want some chicken wings. And make sure when you come home, when you come back here to this motherfucking house, bitch, that you don't have no pussy juice on the dick because you're going to have to get in the motherfucking shower and wash all of that shit, all that motherfucking pussy juice off. <laughs> You know, and so we just fell out laughing. And then he came us he came back to the house and I said, So did you get you in the coochie while you were in the club? He was like, Nah, I just want I've been thinking about fucking this pussy when I got back got back to the house. You know, we just carried on. It just was terrorizing me. Oh, that's him. Baby, you, y'all don't want a day of our foolish conversation. Our conversation is is the fool. Yes. He told my son, how about later on we have a jack session? I said, yes. <laughs> yes, what time? He said, later on we have a virtual jack session. Yes, what time, baby? Let's do it. I say, you still love me? He say, always Timbo. <laughs> <laughs> you see it? Madison, what? That's my motherfucking, that's my dog. Shit. Uh, you say, do I got all the fans? No. Mm-mm. Girl, this is how the shit be going. Um, he say, what time works for you? What time do I want to masturbate today? <laughs> you the one got a job, I don't. You the one work, I don't. Uh... Uh, look how look. Let me show you what he looked like up here. Mm-hmm. Go through the picture. Go through them and see. Just slide. Mm-hmm. Right. 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 Mm. What she said to me? Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> right. <laughs> Baby. You got into all that. Mm-hmm. Oh. You got into all that. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. You got into Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. That's why we care so much. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, yeah. Bitch, I met him when he was. Well, how old I am now? 44. I'll be 44. I told him I met that nigga when he was. No. <laughs> I made that motherfucking nigga when I was. Hmm. Yeah, tell me who said tell me they knows that they want to, but you see, mm-hmm. you see why we carry the way we do. Oh, I see. Mm. Mm mm mm. Do it. Oh, I can all manage it. What? I see why. Yes. <laughs> I definitely see why. Oh. Oh my God. Yes. The carrier we the the carrier. Child, we done carry for uh, done did a lot of carrying. <laughs> That's all I can say. The carrier, honey. And I'm telling him that he needs to walk, he needs to tune into the TS Master experience immediately. Now, they tell myself what uh, Amir. They tell myself what is it giving. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. How would I explain it? Baby. Oh, boy. <laughs> Baby, it's giving. It is. It is definitely giving. Very much so. Yeah. Very much so. Yeah. Baby. It is definitely giving very much so. I'd be quite frightened, though. You would be? I'd be a little frightened. Why? It just frightens me. This, that, 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 what, straight men? No, just the whole, definitely that. Oh, 
But just the whole thing, the whole yeah, it's a lot to deal with. Ooh, ain't a lot to deal with for me. Ain't a lot to deal with for me. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, I'm I'm ready to Miss Mary with tomorrow. We already had a conversation girl, outside. Girl, girl, girl. We already didn't talk outside of you. Girl, girl. Uh, you say uh, you say I'm out loud with no wig and no bunny. <laughs> the girl say, like, ah! girl, this man is terrorizing me. Why is it doing that? I don't know what she acting crazy like this for this motherfucking stand. Mm. Oh, somebody put, we need receipts. Oh, baby, y'all can't have them receipts. Can't have them. Uh-uh. I don't kiss and tell and do none of it. I haven't done it all these years and I ain't going to start it now. Just know that I ain't lacking for no nigga out here in these streets. And definitely ain't lacking for no fine nigga. Mm. Or no nigga with money. Or no balling nigga. Or no cute nigga. Y'all be letting that fat shit fool y'all. <clears throat> Hello. This up? What's up? <clears throat> yeah, I had something in my throat. <laughs> Uh, the, the delivery ain't came yet. No. I will, most definitely. Ah, uh -uh, it's coming. Let me go look at the Amazon. Let me look. Okay, let me look. I'll call you right back. Okay, bye. You know. <laughs> you know, what's up? <laughs> you know? Girl, what? What's up? What's up? That's how you do That's how you gotta do, bitch. I've been answering phones like that since the 90s. Hello? <laughs> since the 90s, Amir, I've been answering phones like that. Hello? What's up? <laughs> what's up? Not what's up. Oh, this shit say it arriving Thursday. Child, I just looked at the Amazon. It say arriving Thursday. So you off the hook to Thursday. Mm. Ooh. Okay. Mm. No, cause my friend. No, cause I'm live and they nosy. Okay. 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 Bye. They say you work fast, Amir. But Amir, I need you to do. So. I'm not finna be having this. Can you spin this round and give me a? I'm gonna sort that. Let me give me a bun or something in the back. Oh girl, here she go. We gotta do this for the people. Come on back. I've been sitting here all this time. Hold it right there. I to make sure that comb. Ma, you all right? That's real aggressive, Amir. You great. You... I'm a man. Man. Come on. Oh, yeah. Like, now put the thing in the middle. Let me see. This that... Face me. Oh, that comb in there. Oh! Oh. Make sure it. No, it ain't in the middle. My nose right here. This gotta come out. Right. Mm. Oh. So you put it, you shift it to the middle, and then. Mm. Oh. oh, I'm trying not to hurt you. Well, that's what he say, but he do it anyway. <laughs> oh, ah! Oh. Now you are gonna have to rebraid the damn front. Mm -mm. Mm. Oh, oh, you did get that in the middle. Mm -hmm. Oh, you did try to line it up with the nose. Hold on, let me. Well, my nose ain't really in the middle either, cause I had to had it redone. <laughs> 
Amir, do not comb the curls out of the just wig. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just so I can, you know, see where I'm going with this. <laughs> you don't never let me do. Do not comb the curls out the wig. Okay, there we go. Just that. Okay. That's it. They're gonna still hold. See, that's what I want you to do. No, Amir, do not do that. Don't cone the curls loose. The wig need to be. Can you see that? I ain't combing them out. I'm just gonna like do like that. I ain't gonna pull them out, leave it alone. Don't pull the curls out. You wanna pull the curls out the damn hair. I just like to see how it's gonna look. You be wanting to sit there and preserve. It needs to be preserved. I don't have nobody to come over here I can it's hard it's to get good. your ass. Let me come in you be telling me you're gonna be here at motherfucking eight o'clock. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. 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 It's Now, how you know I ain't had no other wig upstairs for you? It's okay. You no, go ahead, because you got to get to your... I'll be back tomorrow anyway. You is not coming back here I to fucking Mara. Send me the damn text message how much I owe you so I can send you the cash out. Okay. I will not let me... Yeah, girl, because, uh, listen, send me, the, <laughs> send me what I owe you right now, so let me sit, pay you for this, what you done did me. Yes, ma'am. And, and then, so I don't got it, because so when you be leaving from around here, you can't say that I ain't gave you no money. I would never tell that story. You always have paid. That's right. Whatever was that. You always have. And I'm out. I missed Mary tomorrow for real. I'm not going to let her down. Go in there and tell her then. Because I'm finna go in there and tell her that we ain't going to see your ass. We ain't going to see your ass the motherfucking tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon. No, I'm going to come to y'all in the morning because I got to work tomorrow. So I'll be here about 8, 9 o'clock. I'm about to go make this for Miss Mary. Miss Mary, <laughs> I see you in the morning, okay? Girl, this motherfucking yeah, thing on, is right? really trying to let me have it. You good? We got good things tomorrow. All right, little part, right? Okay. You took the hat with you? Yeah. Girl. Man, I'll be back tomorrow. Girl. Mary, we have talked. Girl. Girl. You took the hat with you, Amir? It's right here. I'm about to go make it. I gotta get her a cap. I don't have no cap anyway to make it now. And she got a cap in the bag. No, not that's the wrong kind of cap. I don't use that. But she got it as a regular thing. Stocking cap. She want me to sew it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can't use that. But I got the closure. That's the so right you finna make her a wig wig? Yeah, that's the hair she got. And that's the cover. But she probably don't need to. They gave her three. But she's not gonna need all that. Oh, they telling me to tag you in here. Or the thing. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna tag him in the, when I when I um when I put this video up on the on the wall because I'm gonna add yeah. this video to my wall. Just lay it out when you you know you just lay Amir, it out. Amir, why you comb out. the curls? Ah! They not out, Madison. They still in there. You know I'm gonna make you recurl this wig tomorrow when you get over here because well, this. That's the case. Let me comb it out there. No, don't comb it now. <laughs> Cause uh, you may not come back around here tomorrow. I promise you, I'm gonna be here tomorrow. Everything I know. Let me just do it so it look good. No, Amir, no, no! Don't do that! Yeah, this is how it's supposed to look. I'm gonna recurl the mom from Madison. I promise her I will. Do not! Don't comb the curls! You look bad on live. How you looking bad on live? Don't comb out the curls! Let me show you how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Come up for me, baby, please. Thank you so much. That's how you do your clients. <laughs> It's like some little beach waves. Nothing major, you know. Nah. Okay, somebody said for you to flexi ride it. Why don't you flexi ride it for me then? Yeah, you can flexi ride it and then hold them in. Well, how? I'm a flexi ride. I don't know how to do no damn hair. Master, you gotta do something. I know how to cash out those that need that. <laughs> So is your DVR set on the TS Mazin experience, Amir? Yes, ma'am. 
I seen. I gotta watch on last week episode. Though. I didn't see last week, but I see, it's on record. I'm on record. <laughs> I think there's a light on now. Mm-hmm. Oh, you ain't put that braid up. Yes, take. Well, you didn't put it up on in the on. Yeah, take this wig off, cause I I I'm not gonna be able to maintain this hair. I just I'm not. I know this. And this why this see this why I don't like about y'all stylists. Y'all know a bitch like me that don't know how to curl or layer or do any of this shit. Y'all like to do this kind of stuff and then come to start and knowing that I have to come back here because I'm a. Mm, I see that's good. Mm-hmm. Now you know this is an Alonzo wig. Yes, it is. Very nice this is a lot of good quality, mm-hmm. nice and thick, and it's still here in the back. Yeah, this is a good wig. Mm-hmm. You know what, Amir? Why don't you just flexi ride it? Okay, what is it? So you got time to flexi ride it? It yeah. ain't but six rods any fucking way. You got nine. Oh, it's nine. Hold on, y'all. He gonna nine. He gonna nine inch nails me. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them what they find you in here. Until y'all find me out. Hold on. Now don't tell them that, but this is second eye. Don't tell them that. Shit, where it went at? Thank <laughs> you.